Instagram ads, trust me, you're doing it wrong. Are you using Instagram ads to gain more followers and reach and it's just not working out? Let's change that. In this video, I'm gonna go over my top three tips on how to get the most out of every single dollar you give to Instagram through Instagram ads or give to Facebook. You ready? Let's go. Hello everyone, my name is Nick and welcome back to Getting Social with Nick. Now for today's video, we're gonna go over the elusive Instagram ads. Now most people just click boost post and then that's it, I'm done. Let Instagram do its thing. That is exactly what you should not be doing. So here are my top three tips to getting the most out of Instagram ads. Now my first tip has to do with what type of content you are promoting. With millions and millions of pages out there, with millions of ads out there, why should they spend more time on yours and actually go to your account and follow it? You gotta give them a reason. Whether it's a discount, uh, whether you're giving them something for free. Now for this video, the example that I have is uh, is a local business. Now we've, we've offered $5 or $10 off of their services for all Instagram followers. So in the ad, they see that and if they're interested, they're going to follow the account. Let's say you're a photographer. Um, you can offer them access to your premium content, whether it's a course, you can offer them free LUTs, you can offer them free training. Let's say you're a, you're a travel, you're a travel Instagram page, you could offer them free travel guides. Now, since we are trying to maximize our budget, you do want to create something exclusive that you can send to everyone. Like, for example, the free LUTs. Now that is something that you created and that you can send to everyone. You can give access it you can give access to all of your followers. But something you don't wanna do is like, let's say give a $3 gift card to Amazon to all your followers. That is just gonna cost you too much money. And the ROI in the end is probably not worth it unless you're Mr. Beast. We found that carousels and also videos do the best. With carousels, you get more of an opportunity to pitch whatever you are. You get multiple photos to sell them. With a video, video in general just does great. Now, tip number two is to customize the audience that your post is being boosted to. You do not want Instagram to do this for you. You do not want to use the defaults. They give you the tools to create custom audiences to target people that are interested in your niche. So take advantage of that. Do not let Instagram use the defaults because they do not have your page's best interests in mind. You know what interests in that they have? Money. So here's how to create a custom audience. Now you can create new, but I've already kind of created an audience that I've liked. So there's one location in Marine Del Rey, one location in West Hollywood. So we did a 10 mile radius around both of them. And then we also added in some interests that we think would be perfect for our business. Now it's a tanning salon, so we did beauty, beach, tanning, perfect. Now here's the key, I'm gonna bring up ads manager. And then we're gonna to go to the audience that I created called Tanning, and then we're gonna click Edit. Click Create New, Create New Custom Audience, and then we're gonna click Instagram Account, and then everyone that is engaged with your professional account. Now I'm gonna click the last 180 days, now let's say 100 days. And then I'm gonna type in Exclude. We don't want to spend money sending out our ad to people that have already interacted or followed us. Now I just titled exclude, but up here you can see it's exclude people who are in at least one of the following. So this will not send your ad out to people that already engage your content. So you're not wasting money putting your stuff in front of people that you've already captured their attention. All right, now the final and tip number three, and that is to use this special website. So when people click on your ad, it doesn't go to the dreaded Safari uh, browser. It goes directly back to Instagram. Now you can check out these two things side by side. One of them we're using the special website and the other one we are not. People are not logged in to their uh, Instagram account through Safari. They're logged on their app. So when they click uh, your ad, it goes directly to Safari, which they are not logged in. Instant turn off, it is not simple. You wanna streamline this process as easily as possible. All right, so you're creating the app and then you're gonna click uh, the destination is your website. Now you are gonna type in the, uh, the website that was given to you. So we're gonna do then you're gonna click done, then you're gonna click next. Um, then we're gonna to go to that custom audience that we just created. Awesome, we're gonna do next. So I'm just gonna go all the way down to $1, which your estimated reach is just over a thousand. We're gonna do it for five days. 
we're gonna click next and we're gonna preview the promotion and then after that you are going to click create promotion oh yeah I need to add a payment method and like I just showed you here's an example side by side with this website and without now this website is free to sign up with and you do get 500 free clicks, but after that there is a payment. All right, and that is it. Those are my top three tips to getting more out of your dollar on Instagram ads. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, make sure to throw them in the comment section down below. If you liked this video and saw value, make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you and I will see you next time. Peace.